Good morning, people of the internet. It is surgery day. I just got out of the shower and I'm rocking my Team No Kids shirt from Kristen. Um, I've got my nightstand all set up and ready. I've got my humidifier. This is an electric blanket that's not on, so don't worry. And then um, I've also got a little fan and my coaster. And this is like food ready, as I like to call it, just in case. Um, but anyways, it's pretty early in the morning still. Um, I am gonna be logging in in just a moment and start working because I can basically get almost a half day in because it's like four in the morning, like 4, 4.45, somewhere in there. Um, but anyway, and I do have some work to do, so it'd be nice to just get that figured out. And I already have my out of office reply going, so people know to not contact me, even though I'm kind of online, but I'm kind of not. I'm working on a special project. Anyways, but I just want to check in, say hello. I'm going to give the camera over to my mother and um, she'll probably vlog me in like recovery or something. Um, but yeah, that's 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 it for the moment. And uh, Doyle is contemplating. Come on up. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so anyway. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Oh. Oh, I smell clean. Nice. Okay. Um, but yeah, next time you see me, I won't be able to have kids. Ah. But Emily, Emily, how do you feel? Uh, I'm excited. Yeah. Okay. Let's get this over with. All right. She had to take her special shirt off for... Yes, I did. It's in... Oh, the nurse took it already. Okay. It's in my bag. All right. Tell them about your shirt. <laughs> well, I already talked about it a little bit. Oh, oh, okay. From my friend Kristen. So sorry. She made it, and I love it. So I'll be rocking that later. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Yes. Well, we're just waiting for the medical staff to come back in. Yep. They're going to hook me up with the, the good drugs and all that Oh, stuff. you don't have that yet. No, okay. I don't have my IV yet. Okay. Not yet, so. All right. All right. Sounds good. Well, all we'll right. check in later. Ooh. Bye. Yeah. All right. She's got a hat. <laughs> And she's got, she's got okay. the, I got the thing. Yes. She got the stuff. This thing's gonna stick me in the eye. I know. She's got her, no more eyeballs in. So no, those I can't things, see. those things are gonna like blind her. <laughs> but she's gonna be going in, in a couple of minutes and ready. doing the procedure and Let's do it. getting ready to mm -hmm. move on with the rest of rest of the life. Yeah, they're gonna give me a, a good good cocktail. Yeah. That's what they said. I promised it's it's gonna be good. Yep. I said I like prosecco, and I said okay, we'll we'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> so there's been a lot of people in here mis visiting with her, so there'll be a bunch more. So. Oh yeah. But things are things are moving along. Very much so. All right. We'll so. See you on the flip side. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye. So Emily's all done with her procedure, and everything went well. Hi. And um, I'm thirsty. And I she, have to she, yeah. <laughs> She's trying, trying to put her oh, contacts yeah. in, but getting, getting it out of a plastic bag has been. Um, it's a. Str She's on a struggle bus right now. <laughs> But All aboard. She's Struggle gonna make bus. it. <laughs> if you are even trying to do it, there you're doing better than. And then we're gonna wait till he gets out of that bathroom because that's. Oh. Awesome. I hope it's not turned Ferguson in. Right? Oh. I don't think. What? Can I have set up? Yeah. Wee. Okay. Nope. <laughs> I might need a little mirror. Let me see. I think we have one. Thank you. Struggle bus. <laughs> All aboard the hot best express. <laughs> Yeah, it is difficult doing it under anesthesia and... <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it could wait until, you know, later on, too. I know, but everybody looks like blueberries. Well... And, like, Smurf blueberries. Well, the Smurf blueberry thing is... Consider it as part of your surgical... Oh, shit. Uh-oh. <laughs> you might have to edit that part out. Nah. Keep it in. <laughs> Hashtag authentic. <laughs> Did you get one in? No. <laughs> hey, look, I'm the same person. Kind of. <laughs> Sans fallopian tubes. <laughs> oh, man. This is entertainment. Let me tell you. Oh, where the hell did it go? 
It's like sticking to your fingers. I, she is having so much fun well, it, trying to do this. Do you need more gel? No, no. <clears throat> Did you get it? Holy crap. I can see you. Well, that's bad. Uh, that's well, bad just, news. Maybe just half. <laughs> okay, so here she is. She's in much better shape now. She's got her eyeballs in so uh -huh. she can see stuff. That was a challenge. <laughs> yeah. She's going to get a piece of toast pretty quick. Uh -huh. And she's moving around pretty well. Uh -huh. So, all in all, it went good. A I don't good, remember a thing. A good day at the at the hospital. Mm -hmm. They're gonna give me. They're gonna give me all the pain meds. So I know. Pumped. She's got some good stuff, but mom is monitoring them. So. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> such a party over. I know. <laughs> that's that's why you have that designated uh, adult. Adult. Yes. Are you gonna stay with me the whole time this time? Yes. <laughs> Not like last time. Well, when you tell me to go away, it's then it's time to go. Probably. But we'll see. 48 hours this time, baby. Yep. And they said everything went well. There was no scar tissue. So they did everything exactly as planned. So. Yep. So things are good. Yeah. Life is good. Yeah. So we're moving on to the next thing now. <gasps> yes. Mm-hmm. And yep. I got to make an appointment for a couple weeks. Yeah. Follow up. Make sure everything is going good. And I have three incisions. So, okay. but they're, I already felt them. They're small. Okay. <laughs> so it's like we <laughs> Make sure. All right. <laughs> okay. So things are good. Things are good at the, at the hospital and, um, procedure went well. So yes. everybody's happy about that. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm very dry. <laughs> I feel more dry on the inside because they had to like put a tube down my throat yep so they put a tube down I don't your throat. remember any of it and so. your throat's gonna feel kind of yeah. scratchy for a couple days all the soup that's <laughs> right all the soup. yep all right nice okay good job good job em i am home now and the only thing that hurts is my throat really hurts because they had to like i don't know if it's called intubate or whatever but they had to put a tube down my throat Anyway, but I am not super tired, but I feel like I'll be tired after this But I am gonna have some of this. This is an Aldi brand. It's the extra noodle with chicken broth and Yeah um, I haven't had this before but it was like a dollar for a two-pack and this is just like I mean it's packaged just like the Lipton extra noodle, which is like I think at my store they're like two eighty nine or like three bucks or something. So I figured I'd give it a shot. And worst thing that can happen is I don't like it and I just make something else. And then I am replenishing with a Gatorade. So that's what's going on. But my voice is going to be hoarse for the next couple of days. But um, I've got my little soup packet here and water is uh, thinking about boiling. So yeah, and then mom's over there eating a salad or attempting to eat a thinking salad. About it. She's thinking about Getting it. Ready. Getting yeah, ready. she's she's got to get get in the zone. <laughs> so anyway, figured I'd check in, but I'm probably gonna take a nap, and I will check in with you guys later. So it's now dinner time, and surgery's over. However, unfortunately, I did have to make a pit stop to the ER. Um, TMI, one of my incisions wasn't completely clotted, so um, they just had to do a couple of things to it, but it's fine. Everything's fine. It actually didn't take very long in the ER at all, which was awesome, but Doyle is begging for food, and there's the favorite mama. She is making um, a grilled cheese sandwich, because that sounds kind of good and soft enough, and then 
she's gonna have the tomato soup and I'm gonna have um, this like, it's the same thing I had for lunch. It's like that generic Lipton packet thing from Aldi because <laughs> it's just easy. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what it is. So that's what we're having for dinners. Um, we yeah. stopped. We stopped for ice. Oh, didn't we? Yeah. We stopped for ice cream we and Culver's. It was really good. So, because Emily's throat is kind of it hurts. Kind of scratchy and hurting. It's so. almost like someone shoved a tube down there and then. That's exactly what pushed yeah. it back up. Oh. Yeah. Shoved it down and then pulled yeah. it out. So. I'm 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 most sore in my throat than anything else. Like the incisions <laughs> aren't that bad. It just feels like a really bad cut. Mm, whatever. So yeah, we had mm -hmm. to stop for a cement mixer at Culver. Yeah. <laughs> and it felt really good. It's, it's awesome. It so was, it was tasty. I might need a, you know, I might need some more ice cream tomorrow. Cause I was a fun girl today, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're going to eat all this deliciousness and don't comment on my grilled cheese pan. It's, it's gross. I know, but what do you do? <laughs> it's white. I can't, I can't do it guys. I just can't do it. <laughs> And then there's Doyle. Oh, there he is. There he is. Just, just waiting for the grilled cheese to be done, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he thinks, yeah. Too. Cool. All right, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. So my mom and I have a heated debate going. More, not heated, more. I just think she's going to be a serial killer one day. But, so, cutting your grilled cheese sandwich. If you decide to cut your grilled cheese sandwich, how do you cut it? I... Just cut it down the center or I'll do like corner to corner <sighs> or if you have like a little kid you know in quarters or triangles or whatever but you're gonna see how my mom cuts sandwiches I feel like I have failed her as a daughter all right, so this is the way I cut my sandwiches all the time I know but just all sandwiches. just show how you're gonna do it and then people can like voice their opinions in okay. the comments to see like how horrible this is <laughs> <laughs> well, I I like to have my sandwiches cut. That's Who it. does that? Like this. Ew. Not corner to corner and not straight. It's like you're so. So I don't not... like it this way. Ew. I don't like yes. it that way. I don't like it that way. I like it like this. I think she's just having a midlife crisis. It's the best. It's the best way. No, it is not. I... <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst I way. I especially like it this way. Why? It just adds, I don't know, it just adds to the flavor. I don't know. I always eat my sandwiches like I this. I think she's a little nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. So, yeah. I don't know. You're weird. That's well, weird. Is that weird? It, tell, no. me in the tell me in the comments if it's weird, guys. Okay. I, I just... All right. Is it any weirder than separating your food so it doesn't touch? No, because that's the only way to eat it. Oh. Duh. Right. <laughs> they know that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, know. you have to have a separate plate and yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Duh. Yeah, yeah. I know. Ugh. All we right. We got some issues here. Well, folks. she's going to eat her cereal killer sandwich and I have my normal sandwich. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello. I am officially Team No Kids now and uh, I am in bed. I have my heating pad. I just turned it on. I got it from Target. So, yeah. Um, kind of sucks I had to go back to the ER for my incision issue. But thankfully, it's not infected or anything. And the, um, the ER doctor that I saw is also a surgeon. So he said that um, really you wouldn't tell if anything is infected for the next like 72 hours. So he's like, just keep an eye on it. And um, he got it. He got it fixed back up, so that's good. I'm like out of breath by just like walking upstairs. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, my, my throat still hurts more than anything. Um, but uh, I just took three Advil, so hopefully that will help. And uh, more TMI, I stopped, or my mom and I, I didn't drive, so don't worry, um, stopped at Walgreens and got some stool softeners because they, um, were telling me that like all the meds and stuff I was taking like all the anesthesia and all of that and then the prescription medication that I have um sometimes like back you up so I got some stool softeners so I put that in my pill regime for the next couple of days so hopefully that'll help and um yeah I think I'm just gonna sit here with the heating pad on and go on the internets 
maybe watch a little YouTube or something. I'm not in the mood to edit, so I'm not gonna do that. And then um, my plan is I have a big project at work um, tomorrow, or anytime really. It doesn't require a lot of brain power, so I'm gonna do that. But I know today's the last day of October. Um, but I'm gonna keep you guys posted on like social and all of that. And hopefully this weekend, if I'm feeling better, I will probably have a plethora of the rest of the Vlogtobers up for you guys. But yeah, I am glad that this happened. I am so happy. And um, I think I said this before in the vlog, but I have been like waiting for almost a decade for doctors and surgeons to take me seriously when I said I don't want kids and I'd like to completely prevent it 100% and have surgery. You know, being turned away at 31 years old because I was actually engaged at the time, but I wasn't married and I had had no other kids or any previous pregnancies. You just felt like, for me, I felt just like really defeated. Like I couldn't make decisions about my own body, which made me really upset, clearly. Um, and don't get me wrong like i love kids i just don't want any for me and the funny thing is like i always felt that way there was a time and i think i've said this before but there was a time in my like mid 20s where i was dating somebody that really wanted kids and we had mutual friends that were getting married and having kids and all of that and i thought well maybe it was like 26 or something 27 and i said well me so i said to myself well, maybe I just haven't like felt that urge yet, you know, and um, As soon as our, our like mutual friends started having kids and getting married and everything I was like, oh no I don't want this for myself. It was like more of a validation that this wasn't the path for me um, That's one of the many reasons we broke up, but um, you know, I wanted him to be happy I wanted him to have kids and all that and now he has two um, amazing daughters, so that's awesome for him um but anyways but yeah I've I've known my whole life I've known since I was a little kid that I didn't want any but um the other benefit to it is this is gonna hopefully help with my migraines which will be great my migraines are hormonal so um I'll have a better treatment plan with my general doctor about my migraine problems so, but that will be later on down the road once I heal and once all my stomach issues get taken care of. So it's probably going to be like next year, unfortunately, but you know, you got to take care of the bigger problems first. So anyway, I think I've rambled on a little too much. Doyle is <clears throat> down there somewhere. I don't think you can see him. I don't know. Got my little setup over there. And um, anyway, I'm going to go. And uh, thanks for hanging out with me in Vlogtober. I really appreciate it. I'll be back with more regular content videos very, very soon. And um, I'll, just, I'll just see you soon. All right, thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs>